knobbly apple cake is a little bit of a uh, interesting recipe on this week's edition of Grandma's Cookbook. There are instructions, but as you'll see, I had some questions as this thing was coming together. And will those questions be answered? Will I like the answers? Well, I already know, but you don't, but that's why you're watching on this week's edition of Grandma's Cookbook. Following the instructions as they're written, I decided to cream well one cup of sugar with one tablespoon of shortening. As you see here, a little bit of a pro tip. If you go out and buy sugar, don't buy the sugar that comes in a box. It's clumpy as hell. Had to be run through the sifter to smash out all the little clumps. It didn't seem like the two tablespoons of shortening was enough to cream well, but I did what I could. Once that was mixed, what I thought was adequately, I added one beaten egg, then blended till well combined. Then to this, we added one tablespoon of vanilla, then mixed together. Then you set the mixture aside, and you go ahead and start cutting three cups worth of cubed apples, which turned out to be about one and a half apples here. And I decided to go with Granny Smith, because usually these seem to be good baking apples. I'm not a fan of them myself, but they turned out adequate for this recipe. Then take the apples and add them to your creamed mixture until well mixed. Set that mixture aside, because now we're going to sift together the dry ingredients, which consist of one cup of flour, one half teaspoon cinnamon, one half teaspoon nutmeg, one half teaspoon salt, and one teaspoon baking soda. Now take your sifted dry mixture and pour it directly into the wet mixture, and then mix until well combined. And it was about this point where I started to think that maybe this recipe wasn't completely written down. It seemed a little off, like there wasn't enough dough for the apples. But I decided to stick with the recipe, mix it, and just follow the directions to see what happens. Once you have this all well and mixed, you're going to put it into a baking sheet of whatever kind you want. doesn't really list any specifics. I just decided to go with the one that I have here. Put it in an oven for 375 degrees, bake for 35 to 40 minutes, and voila. Knobbly apple cake. So how's it taste? Very good, actually. Uh, the Granny Smith apples, I think, were a very good choice for this because the sugars in that seeped out into the dough and it made it very sweet, almost caramelized, very tasty, nice crunchy top. The recipe, I did check online for anything similar, and it matched it, maybe without nuts on the ones I saw online, which surprised me since every other recipe in here seems to have them. But I would recommend this, and I'd like to thank you all for watching this week's edition of Grandma's Cookbook.